Hello friends, welcome to Unity Scripting API Time Essentials Video Tutorials Series. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss how do we add delay time in the update method. We understand how do we add delay in the update method guys. I say game object, 3D object, cube. I have created a cube. I want to move this cube up by one unit after every three seconds guys. How do we do that? I right click here, say create C C sharp script. I name it cube controller, hit enter. You can see that cube controller dot cs file is created. I select the cube game object. I say add component, say scripts, say cube controller. I double click on cube controller dot cs file to open it inside the mono develop. You can see that cube controller dot cs file is open inside the mono develop. I hold down the control key and scroll the mouse wheel to zoom in. I delete these two lines of codes. I delete this comment. I delete this comment. Here, I am going to create a float variable called as time. Time variable we are going to use to keep track of current time. And then I create one more float variable called as time delay. We use this variable to set the delay time. Here I say initially time should be 0 and time delay should be set to 3f. As we want to move the cube up by 1 units after every 3 seconds, I am setting the time delay here 3. We are going to increment the time in the update method by 1 per second guys. So what I do here, I say time is equal to time plus 1f multiplied by time dot delta time. It is going to increment the time value by 1 per second. So initially 0, then it becomes 1, then it becomes 2, then it becomes 3. At any time, time value becomes greater than or equal to time delay value. That is, at any time, time value becomes greater than or equal to 3. We set the time back to 0 guys. So next time, again, it should be 1, 2, 3. When time becomes 3, we set the time back to 0. 1, 2, 3. When time becomes 3, we set time back to 0. So this if code is going to be executed after every 3 seconds guys. That is how you add the delay in the update method. Here I say this dot transform dot position is equal to this dot transform dot position plus new vector 3. We don't want to move in x axis so 0f. We want to move in y axis 1f. We don't want to move in z axis 0f. Now what happens after every 3 seconds the cube is going to move up by 1 units guys. File, save, go to unity. If I click on the play button, you see cube moving up by one unit after every three seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three. You can see that the cube is moving up by one unit after every three seconds. If I say here one, now what happens? The cube is going to move one unit after every one second. If I say file, save, go to unity. Once I click on the play button, you will see cube moving up by one unit after every one second, right? So you can control the time delay guys. As I want to move the cube up by one unit after every three seconds, I say here time delay three. File, save, go to unity. I click on the play button. Cube is going to move up by one unit after every three seconds guys. One, two, three. One, two, three. Right? You can not only move, if you want, you can rotate also. What I do, I commit this line of code and then I say here this dot transform dot Euler angles equal to this dot transform dot Euler angles plus new vector three. I don't want to rotate around x axis, I say here zero f. I want to rotate around y axis by 40 degrees. So I just say here 40 f. I don't want to rotate around z axis. I say here 0 f. So now what happens? The cube is going to rotate around y axis by 40 degrees after every 3 seconds. File, save, go to unity. Once I click on the play button, you will see cube rotating around y axis by 40 degrees after every 3 seconds. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Right? That is how you can add time delay in the update. I hope you guys have clearly understood. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again. Understand everything clearly. 
try to code yourself experiment with more examples in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about unity for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share this video with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial Thank <laughs> you.